Why do stars fall down from the sky every time you walk by? Just like me, they long to be close to you. My name is Gavin Minter, and uh, this video is brought to you by. The Cape Town Music Academy is part of the Daily Tips series and today's episode will be is on intention and honesty. Picasso was once asked how he paints like a child and he said he doesn't paint like a child. He thinks like a child and he paints naturally. Now this now that's that, that's a big difference. As the intention now has shifted from something being mimicked to something being completely authentic. So intention and honesty to me is a very important topic as it requires a close look at to where we are as artists, what we have to say, what story we have to tell, and also as listeners, why we resonate with artists' personal stories and how they affect us. I think that we are influenced by the artist's intention and honesty more than we realize. When I listen to Keith Jarrett, I'm so convinced of his honesty that I give into his offering with openness. I allow myself to invest my time in his journey by knowing that he has given me the most honest interpretation of himself. <clears throat> and when we offer the most honest interpretation of ourselves, as in anything in life, it becomes enough. It is what it is. And any retrospective judgment is just that. It has no power over what was offered. Yes, you might not like a certain artist or how they sound or what tunes they write, but that is just taste. It's not who they are. And I remember seeing Joe Cocker once, and he was singing a... One of my favorite ballads, You Are So Beautiful. And if I tell you that <laughs> half the lyrics didn't even come out. I mean, he was just like this gravelly sound. But his intention was so strong. And the story, he was so invested in the story he was telling that it didn't matter. It, 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 it didn't really matter that half the lyric didn't even come out. And it's like Billie Holiday. If she tells you, oh, man, oh my man, I love him so, it, you know, you know she means it. And I remember in New York one night, I was listening to a young singer at a tip jar joint called Deanna's. And this girl was, wasn't known around. She was, a, she was a user. And she had immersed herself in jazz and lived an authentic, behemic jazz lifestyle. She, she wasn't the most accomplished singer I'd ever heard. But if I tell you, she delivered a lyric better than most I've ever heard. And then again, I remember once I was auditioning musicians for a jazz impression showcase that I used to run. And the second UCT student gets up on stage and sings Lush Life while reading the lyrics and then looks at me afterwards for feedback. And I'm like, really? Lush Life? Which is... One of the most beautiful stray horn tunes ever written, with the most haunting lyrics. I mean, the lyrics are, Romance is mush stifling those who strive. I'll live a lush life in some small dive, and there I'll be while I rot with the rest of those whose lives are lonely too. So this girl delivered this tune without any connection to her. There was no honesty or intention, because she couldn't connect with the song. And then, what is that? It just becomes words. And words and notes without intention are just words and notes. And singers have quite a responsibility because they really have to have strong intention because the meaning of a tune is more revealing for a singer as their lyrics. Not that instrumentalists, they also need to tell the same stories and have the same honesty and intention at heart. So, listen to, your, listen to the sound of your heart and tell that story.